Travis Wayne Goodsell, the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, yesterday uh, did a uh, church news post, uh, uh, not about uh, the uh, status of the sister missionary who was transferred in the day before the the tornado explosion or of the status of any of the members out in that area. Instead they decided to post an update of the uh, Salt Lake Temple rededication ceremony when it's all finished. Here's their official released statement. The seismic strengthening of the Salt Lake Temple and the extensive remodel of the temple and surrounding area are sacred and significant undertakings. As the project has progressed, we have learned uh-huh by who <laughs> a great deal about the condition of the temple and its surroundings you mean the inverted pentagram the work is truly remarkable and is being guided by the first presidency Oh, we thank thee, O oh God, for a first presidency to guide the construction and rebuilding whatever of the temple. <laughs> Heaven forbid they should, you know, like prophesy of the latter days, warn Mormons of destructions and signs in the heavens. Nope. They're guiding the, the remodeling of the temple. Jesus is telling us what to do. Inspired <laughs> modifications and additions to the project and scope. I refer you to Stephen Colbert's show <laughs> from last night talking about a certain HBO show and what he intended to do about it have been made so the temple and temple square can serve many generations yet to come in the millennium right that's what you're planning the millennium is being postponed that's what this is all about it is anticipated that the temple and its surroundings will be completed in 2025 <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to welcoming the world at that time to visit when we have conquered you <sighs> tour and learn about this sacred temple and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints founded by Heber J. Grant 1923 but we won't tell you that Yeah, so originally, from the outset, the church was going to have it finished by April 2024 for that weekend conference. Saturday was going to be the dedication day, the rededication day, and they were going to announce the new location of Jesus. And I've been going over with you about how they're going to have to pull it off that Jesus Christ has come the second time and is leading and guiding the church, having destroyed the wicked around the world so that the church now receives <clears throat> all kingdoms. <laughs> to rule the world. It's been postponed. Yep. And you do know what's on 8 April, that Monday afterward, right? 
remember the 21st of August 2017? Yeah? Well, we've learned of the next, the third, or the, yeah, the third day of darkness that crosses over it in April 2024 in Southern Illinois. Huh. I've been doing all these videos about it. And so, yeah, now they're saying they've canceled the millennium. They're postponing it. They're extending it out to 2025. So it's no longer fulfilling prophecy again. So just like Nelson, who fulfilled Heber C. Kimball's prophecy that the missionaries would be called home in the latter days, Nelson did it and then sent them right back out. And then you have the sister missionary in Kentucky who was almost sent to her death in that transfer. She's fine, but the church hasn't even indicated they've even bothered to send their typical truckload. They're keeping it a sacred secret. And would rather talk about how the temple renovation is being delayed to delay the millennium and Jesus Christ coming and the takeover of the governments of the world by the church. And so I, I, I don't understand why the MAGA followers are all planning on 2024. You know, have you not been watching the news? They're going to put Trump as Speaker of the House after the 2022 election. Because they're planning on sweeping it because the Supreme Court allowed them to you know, nullify all elections in favor of MAGA candidates and so MAGA is going to sweep and they've already got impeachment plans for Biden and Harris to remove them from the presidency so that the Speaker of the House can then become president. 2023. Just in time. So why are they delaying? There's no reason. They said this was inspired. Is it not inspired? Because it was supposed to be completed for that weekend conference in 2024. Now they're saying, hey, we're inspired. Believe us, we're inspired. Jesus. But we're making some changes because things weren't as inspired as we thought. That's what they're revealing there. They claim openly they're inspired, that they receive revelation, they're guided by the First Presidency, truly remarkable, all of those brainwashing code words, so that they can then deceive you with, uh, it's being delayed. <laughs> now I understand construction companies purposely deceive their customers if you're familiar with the three uh, um, shelters that Utah was forced to build after they destroyed the downtown one Rio Grande one oh you want us to build shelters for these people We destroyed their home because they were bothering the stores at the Gateway Mall that the church ordered us to build so that we can do all this. So that they'd stay away from Temple Square and panhandle and bother Mormons trying to go to the temple. And so, yeah, during the construction, they then decide, you know what? We won by underbidding all the other bidders. <laughs> so now that we're halfway through, let's extort the state of Utah and say, oh, we're not going to be able to finish unless you give us more money.
And of course, the state of Utah had to conform and comply to the extortion demands. <laughs> and it's still not enough. It's only 700 beds instead of 1,100, which was already at least a thousand short. But this is how you you run a test on people to see if they're good or bad. And the church keeps revealing that they're the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs>